As we prepare ourselves to celebrate this mass, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia.
the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom is bright and does not grow dim. By those who love her, she is readily seen, and found by those who look for her. Quick to anticipate to those who desire her, she makes herself known to them. Watch for her early, and you will have no trouble. You will find her sitting at your gates. Even to think about her, is understanding, fully grown. Be on the alert for her, and anxiety will quickly leave you. She herself walks about looking for those who are worthy of her, and graciously shows herself to them as they go, in every thought of theirs, coming to me. The Word of the Lord. For you my soul is thirsty, O God my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsty. My body pines for you, like dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people do, those who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. The Word of the Lord. Sensible ones, 
Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. So stay awake, because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Prudence, therefore, is something that we should practice in the midst of our lives. Knowing that if we use it wisely, good can come from it. We see the lack of prudence in today's Gospel with the five bridesmaids who didn't bring enough oil. And if we thought that 24-hour opening times was something of the modern day, just listen carefully. The bridegroom arrived at midnight and the bridesmaids were missing because they were out shopping for oil. They came back and unfortunately were excluded from the feast. Unlike the prudent bridesmaids who had brought enough oil with them. A message for each of us, as always, in our readings today. Be ready. Be prepared to do the right thing. And poignantly, our second reading, reminding us of this Remembrance Sunday, where we are called to be quite certain about those who have died, and make sure that we do not grieve about them like other people who have no hope. In this month of November, let us be a people who hope in the resurrection and the life. We stand, and for a well, while we don't stand, you can remain sitting if you wish at home, just one of those uh, things that I usually say. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became her. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. So we turn to our Father with our petitions for our needs and the needs of our world. For the Church, that as custodians of the faith handed down to us, we may find new ways to proclaim the Gospel to them. Lord, in your mercy, for the fallen of the two world wars and the many conflicts which have scarred our world since then. That God may call them into light, judge them with mercy and grant them peace. Lord, in your mercy, for healthcare workers throughout the world, and especially for all who have given their lives and sacrificed their own health in order to care for those who are sick and will die. Lord, in your mercy, for those who are preparing for marriage, that their mutual love will grow into a lifelong and faithful commitment. Lord, in your mercy, we bring before God those who have died, those whose anniversaries occur at this time, Terry Laval, for whom we offer this Mass, and those who Lord, in your mercy, the diocese today prays for all religious communities, and we pray for our own parish, that we may, we may be granted the wisdom to do the work of our Father in heaven, in our towns and villages. Lord, in your mercy, we ask Mary, Mother of Christ, to pray with us and for us. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, we turn to our Father with our private and personal intentions. Heavenly Father, you are our help and our strength. Open our hearts to respond to your call, that we may always know and do your will. We ask this through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, thanks to your goodness this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. 
Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favour, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honour it with love and devotion, through Christ our Lord. I forgot to wash my hands. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity above the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when his supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Terry Laval, for whom we offer this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. If it is safe to do so, offer each other a sign of peace. 
I will send you a wave of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray together an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ. Oscar, whose birthday it was, but I forgot to mention it at the end. Um, unlike the week before, I mentioned it, and it was too early, it was a week early. But anyway, Val, we hope you have a lovely day. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Val, happy birthday to you. Also, to mention on this Remembrance Sunday, that at 11 o'clock today, one of our young parishioners, will be playing the last post um, here at St. John's in the organ loft. Well away from everybody else, all that social distancing and everything. So if you wish to tune in later um, for the last post uh, on the parish website where you can access um, our live stream or go to church services TV um, to get it as well. And so those of you who have joined me this morning, I hope you've enjoyed the singing. I certainly have. Um, and I know that many of you would have 
joining in, and I know that one or two of you might even be playing the guitar um, as I have been singing along. So um, it's good that we gather together, even by this remote means, to celebrate God's love in our lives. Well, thankfully, that uh, well, for the, we, we think that presidential election uh, in America has been resolved, uh, and I was happy to find out yesterday that President-elect Joe Biden, his great-grandfather, was called James Finnegan. That's my dad's name. My dad was delighted. He's expecting um, an invitation to the inauguration uh, at the beginning of next year. I don't think we'll go because I don't think travel will be allowed by then. Here, there we are. That's a nice thought. Loretta, Heather, there you are. Could be related to you as well. Have a good week, everyone. Um, and take care, keep safe, and God bless. I think that's everything. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And we'll sing, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, you are mine. When you walk through the waters, I'll be with you. You will never sink beneath the waves. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. something.